Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have the Daiso Moving 3D Puzzle, and this is the Helicopter. And this set is recommended for ages 6 and up, and is part of the Toys and Indoor line, and is the 568th item. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Alright everybody, so here is the Helicopter 3D Puzzle, and here's the front of the package. And now one thing that I found was interesting here, I'm not sure if this is a translation error or anything, but it says, Pullback Type Airplane. Now. I'm no expert, but pretty sure a helicopter isn't equivalent to an airplane. And also it says on the other side, it says moving 3D puzzle assemble type plane. So I, I would have said like aircraft or something instead of plane because technically a helicopter is not an uh, airplane, but uh, that is whatever. And here is the back of the box. And let's go ahead and open this up. Now I have done a couple of 3D puzzles before. And they are pretty fun, although I'm more used to Daiso's Petite Block line. Uh, but inside of the box, it looks like we just have this little piece of kit, or this little kit here. And there is all the contents from the bag. And let's go ahead and look at the instructions really quickly. Now, if you want the uh, uh, more clear picture of the instructions, I'll have a picture of it at the end. So here is our instructions here. And more pictures on the back. And now included with this, you get, of course, your pieces of little cards here. Now, uh, all you do with these sort of 3D puzzles, oh, sorry, that fell down, is you pretty much just pop these out and they push into place with each other. Pretty much uh, just like a 3D puzzle. And of course we have here this little motor, this little pullback motor, uh, these two wheels here, and of course this little tool that will help us pop out all of our pieces. So let's go ahead and get building. Alright everybody, so here is the 3D Puzzle Helicopter, and I gotta say, this turned out actually a bit better than I was expecting. Uh, now, of course, this is a pullback model, which is a little bit funny uh, for something like this, especially since it is a helicopter. Uh, but one thing, I'm not sure if it is my fault or if it is uh, Daiso's fault, uh, but as you can see here, we have a little pullback motor, and when you try to pull it back, it doesn't even pull back because these rocket pods here... Um, they're sort of rubbing against the wheels, which is a little bit unfortunate. Now, I did 
take this apart and put it back together again and there is pretty much no difference here uh, so I'm pretty sure it's just the design fault uh, but if you do want it to spin really badly you could take off the rocket pods here just like so which is the good part of a uh, 3d puzzle and you can of course have it be pulled back now and it can go off away and that just hit something off to the side but as you can see it's very very nice and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rocket pods back on because it looks a bit more cooler with it and while we're putting this back together this was a pretty actually an easy kit to put together now the little tool that they provided which is this thing here did a good job in popping out all the little things that you need to pop out like for example in the helicopter here there's these little holes that you needed to punch out and that little tool really does the job and it is really really easy they just snap and fit together and I think it is pretty cool that you can assemble a nice 3d object with these little cards here and now I am NOT a helicopter expert whatsoever I know more about airplanes than helicopters but uh, judging by the standard look of this and as well as the cockpit windows I am pretty dang sure that this is based off of the uh, Apache H-64 attack helicopter which is an American attack helicopter and I say that because if you look here at the cockpit w cockpit window sorry uh, it looks exactly like the H-64 helicopters and as well as these engines here and just the natural flow of it uh, definitely looks like they based off of that now some things don't make too much sense here with this helicopter one of them being is that the front here as you can see we don't really have any cockpit windows it's just sort of I don't know they just took a bunch of textures put that there and called it a day I think it would look a lot lot better if they followed the movement of the cockpit like say for example if they put the some part of the white here and also up top here so it looks a little bit more better when looking head on and also one thing too is that these little cards down here when you put them together the textures of them are actually like the picture of the helicopter so i'm thinking what they did is that they took pictures of the actual apache attack attack helicopter and they pasted it on their cards to make this which I mean, is okay enough, but as you can see here, if I take this piece off, if you look at this, this looks like the front of an Apache attack helicopter. They pasted it onto this, and they had it go into the front. I think it would have lot, looked a lot better if they had some texture that actually looked like it is the front cockpit of it. Uh, but other than that, it is pretty cool for a 3D puzzle. One thing I would probably do is these wheels look a little bit funny especially on this helicopter here and I mean for a pushback or not pushback a pullback for a helicopter isn't the the coolest thing ever especially since this thing flies instead of just taxiing on the ground all the time it is still a nice feature to have and you can of course always take this off so say if you don't like the look of these wheels here you can always detach them and even the motor wheels pop off really easily and one thing that is cool as well is that all the rotors on this do spin which is interesting I wasn't sure how they were going to make it spin for a 3d puzzle but they do spin so does the main oh <sighs> sorry so does the main rotor on top that actually spins very nice as well and so overall this is really really great and they recommend this for ages six and up which I think personally is a little bit too low considering that this is in a toys and indoor section I think a six-year-old wouldn't have the best time assembling this and also it is a little bit fragile as well which is a little bit weird because they made it look more like a quote-unquote toy instead of an actual model but other than that I am pretty actually satisfied with this to add it to my 3d puzzle collection Alright everybody, so that was the Daiso 3D Puzzle Helicopter, and I gotta say this was pretty dang easy for me to assemble, and also it turned out pretty nice as well. One thing I would do personally, uh, just to make this look a little bit more realistic, is to take off some of these wheels here, just because the uh, pullback action <laughs> really doesn't actually even work. As you can see, trying to pull this back gets stuck because of the rocket pods, which is a little bit unfortunate, uh, but either way, this was pretty easy to put together, although for ages 6 and up, I would put the age recommendation just a tad bit up just because these are very very fragile and almost broke off one piece and also one thing too is that this is based off of the Boeing AH-64 Apache attack helicopter which I think is really cool and is one of my favorite helicopters too so it's nice to have a 3D puzzle of it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and if you did, be sure to give it a like and also if you want to see more videos like these, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching guys. Bye!